Hi, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here. Today, I'll be going through Tesla's sales numbers from the month of February, and we'll be looking at how many vehicles Tesla is on pace to produce in the first quarter, with shutdowns affecting both the Shanghai Gigafactory and the Fremont factory in California. So first of all, Tesla announced that they were suspending production at their Fremont and Buffalo factories as of March 23rd. Now, Q1 has a total of 91 days. And if Tesla shuts down their factories on March 23rd, it will mean that during Q1, Tesla would have been operational for 82 days and shut down for only 9 days. Now, when we look at Tesla's production from Fremont during Q4 of 2019, we can see that Tesla produced just under 105,000 vehicles. If we assume the same production rate in Q1 of 2020, with the factory open for only 82 out of the 91 days, then my estimates show that Tesla could still produce about 94,500 vehicles for this quarter, but that's just Fremont. When we look at China, we can see that the Shanghai Gigafactory was shut down from January 30th and reopened on February 10th, which means that the Shanghai Gigafactory was closed for about two weeks during Q1. Now, in terms of production, I have seen reports that Tesla has been producing between 1,000 and 3,000 Model 3s per week, as we can see here. But what we do know is, Tesla delivered just over 3,000 Model 3s in January, and produced almost 4,000 Model 3s in February, while going through Chinese New Year and being shut down for 12 days. In my opinion, I think Tesla will easily produce 8,000 Model 3s in the month of March, taking China's overall Model 3 production to 15,000 for the quarter. Meaning, if the Fremont factory produces 94,500 and the Shanghai Gigafactory produces 15,000 vehicles, then my estimates show that Tesla will produce just over 109,000 vehicles in Q1. Now, if this is the case, then Tesla will beat their previous production record that they set in Q4 of 2019 by a factor of just over 5,000 vehicles, which will be an incredible effort considering most other auto manufacturers could be down 10 to 15% in Q1. Also in February, a huge shipment of Model 3s arrived into Taiwan, and for those curious, these were Fremont made Model 3s. And on the topic, Tesla has won a contract with the Taiwanese military police to provide them with a fleet of 20 Model 3s. And isn't it interesting that the military police considered the Model 3? Imagine when the Cybertruck goes into production. In my opinion, there will be boatloads of orders from police departments and militaries from around the world. Meanwhile in Europe, we are still waiting for the majority of the ships to arrive so we can get the complete numbers. But in the first two months of the quarter, we can see that compared to last year, Tesla has delivered about 2,000 more Model 3s thus far, which is an encouraging sign. But one thing that's going to really help out in Europe is Tesla's new feature of touchless car deliveries, in which new buyers get their keycards from a locker using a code that they receive from the Tesla wrap, and then find their new car on a parking lot and simply drive away which is a brilliant idea at a time in which social distancing is recommended. Anyways guys, this is just a quick video update, and if all goes to plan, the next video I'll be releasing will be the 2018 Tesla documentary series, so stay tuned for that. So as always, thank you to all the Patreons for supporting the channel, and remember, all info in this video is simply my opinion, and I do not recommend buying or selling any financial instruments. So till next time, be safe, stay strong, and I'll see you guys soon.